Well, I'm getting gas, you know what that means. I'm going on a trip. traveling down the highway and I saw this little offshoot road so I thought I'd take it and wow it's um, an interesting campsite off-grid campsite it doesn't have a terrible view there's the ocean down there this is not that bad behind me is this rock quarry very interesting it's virtually a lake in the bottom <laughs> pond wow, that's kind of neat I want to keep moving. I don't think I'm going to stay here, but um, it's kind of a neat spot. Definitely going to mark this down. Maybe I'll come back one night on the way home. Who knows? Just checking another little road. This looks like it might be a tad scratchy for me. Give it a try. <laughs> Yuck. Must go somewhere. Maybe. The thing you worry about the most is somewhere to turn around. This is very interesting. Talk about the middle of nowhere. opening up. All right. Look at that. This little campsite right there. I don't know where this goes, but that little spot right there is really nice. Ugh. This just keeps on going. Let's back up. Oh, cruising. Of 
We're in a nice little forest campsite. Just get myself pointed in the outward direction. And see um, if we can make something out of this. Wasn't that nice? What a beautiful spot. Mountains, trees, level. It's perfect. Bear country here. Big time. Out here in the woods. I just keep our safety measures in place at all times. You know what I'm saying? Well, look at this neat place. It's kind of fun. There's some exploring to do there. Some exploring to do behind there. And you think looking at this road that it would be busy, but from the street, uh, which is about a mile from here, um, you can hardly notice that coming in here and the road's terrible until you get to this part, which is all nice and flat. That's just great. So, um, yeah, I'm happy. It's very secluded, it's sunny, beautiful mountains, nice. I feel like this is the quietest campsite I've ever been in. I just sneezed and it echoed for about a minute. <laughs> so I'm going to give this heater another go tonight. I feel like it might be kind of cold tomorrow morning. So I'm just going to give this a shot. See how it works out. Try not to uh, melt anything on my Jeep this time. All right, it's running. And uh, kind of stinks right now. It always stinks when it first starts up. That guy there, although the exhaust is not like smoky or anything it just stinks for a bit and there that's about it's running noise well, it's starting to cool off a little bit around here now and that's okay i'm gonna go upstairs and watch some netflix and relax for a while but tomorrow i want to do a little bit of hiking up uh these roads there's one here and there's one back here like i showed you before and uh they must go somewhere they're uh the roads are in pretty good shape so uh i'm hoping that there's something interesting at the end of at least one of them and uh, so we'll do a little hiking tomorrow, see if we can find something cool. Well, pretty nice morning out there. A little on the chilly side. Looks like four degrees. I think we'll turn the heater on. It's getting a bit more reasonable, I think. Well, I think I'll just sit up here where it's nice and warm for a little while until it gets uh, cozy enough to go outside, and it's going to for sure. There's no wind, the sun's coming up, so that's cool. For now, I'm just gonna hang out in here. All right, well, um, we're definitely camped at a crossroads here, so I'm not sure which direction I should take for this hike. So I'm gonna go old school in deciding. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a beatnik by the toe. If he hollers, daddy yo, play it cool and let him go. We're going that way. Such a beautiful countryside. Just beautiful. Where are we going? Who knows? 
Hopefully it ends up as something, but you know how these things go. Sometimes yay, sometimes nay. Why do I feel like I've landed in the land of the perfect Christmas tree? If it was Christmas, I'd take that one home right now. It's got four little trunks. Wouldn't that be fun to decorate? Very pretty. And this is it. This is what it turns into. Whew. It's really another campsite. It's the end of the line. This would be a secluded campsite. <laughs> wow. I could get in here with a Jeep. But it's not near as sunny here. Not sure what's going on in here. Somebody had something built there once. Neat. Well, I added this hike down a little bit because it's not that interesting watching me walk up these little two track roads just looking at stuff um but uh it was a not a bad little hike up here um of course it ended up nowhere except in a camp spot i could actually get the jeep in here but i'm not going to i got the perfect spot at the crossroads there i don't think anyone ever comes in there really rarely um there's no junk there's hardly any signs of other than the firing that people go there at all anyway um it ended up at this little place here that's got the little man-made set up here whatever that is somebody used it for something at some point so that's a um, point of interest i guess so um anyways i'm gonna head back and get a cup of coffee going um i'm gonna have a second cup today i'm feeling a little tired last night's sleep was pretty rough for some reason anyways uh so i'll catch you back at the jeep Like I said, we're camping at a crossroads. So let's head back on this road and see if it goes any further or just see if there's anything interesting along the way. Getting thick. Seems to end right over there. It's like a little clearing and then it's over. Oh well. Oh, that was a big tree. There's signs of habitation of some kind. Maybe a sign. A piece of hose. Well, neither of those walks turned out to be anything very interesting. I'm always hoping to run into some kind of abandoned structure or something cool like that. Even an old dumped car, anything interesting. Anyways, uh, all I got out of that was maybe an old sign that didn't say anything and a garden hose. So anyways, I think I'll just get back to relaxing and camping.
I guess I'm kind of surrounded by half logged mountains. To be fair, of course, they're all replanted. You can see the little trees on it. I don't know if you can, but I can. Well, what do I do when I'm camping and I'm in a place like this? It's so quiet. It's just the quietest campground I've ever been in. What do I do when I got nothing to do? Well, I could make something productive to do, but I don't feel like it. So basically, I'm going to get out the salty snacks and have a couple of drinks and just sit around and relax all afternoon. I don't think that's unlike what most of you guys would do. I don't know if you'd all wear your wife's sunglasses like I am, but be that as it may, um, I pick these snacks here because, well, they're not a particularly good choice. Um, there's a billion of them in each bag, so it takes a whole long time to eat them. So does that make any sense? Mm, no, it doesn't make any healthy sense, but it makes some kind of weird sense. And they go good with a, uh, with a, a nice liquor drink, I'll tell you that much right now. So I was going to do some shooting while I was here, but this place is so quiet. And there's so many of these stellar blue jays around. You can see the one in the tree there. Um, that I just feel kind of bad disturbing them with such a loud noise. It's such a peaceful place. I'm not sure if I'd forever ruin their uh, environment by scaring them like that. So I feel like I'm in kind of the little stellar Blue Jays blue lagoon. I just don't want to disturb them. Everything just seems so perfect and so Eden-like here. I can always shoot somewhere else. Big surprise. Chicken stew for dinner. Well, I made a new batch, so... And that's pretty well what it's going to be all week. Well, this is probably the quietest camp I've ever had. It's the quietest place I've ever been to. I'm very deep into the woods here and in these mountains. Uh, it is amazing. Well, there's a jet going by right now. You can hear that. But other than that, it's just dead quiet except for some croaking and some birds. It's been that way since I got here. It's amazing. Haven't seen another human or heard a car or anything. So, um, yeah, that's pretty neat. I might move on tomorrow. We'll see what happens. And as I said, sometimes I feel like sitting around more than I like driving around, but I'm starting to actually get a tiny little bit bored. So I'm going to go upstairs now, do some editing, and uh, then probably get some sleep. And we'll check in with you in the morning. Good morning, Blue Jays. You guys are sure squawky little things in the morning. Hey, um, I had planned full well on leaving this morning, but when I woke up, I was freezing cold. Uh, I got the heater going and stayed in bed till about 9.30. It was nice and toasty and warm up there. But once the sun came up over the trees behind me there, it turned into a beautiful warm day. And it's nice and hot, lovely today, but it is windy. And although I had planned on leaving, this place is nice and sheltered. And I feel like if, if it's going to be a windy day, uh, I might not be able to find this again. And I don't like camping in really windy conditions. So I'm not really feeling that intrepid today anyways. So I think what I'm going to do is just hang around and read a book and drink coffee and just kind of take it easy 
And um, I'm not going to do any more filming today, I don't think. Um, but uh, around dinner time, I'll check in with you again. And uh, if there's been any change of plans, I'll let you know. But as far as it goes now, tomorrow we're definitely leaving to find a new place to camp. We've got two days left. And so we have to, um, we have to go somewhere else. Can't stay out all in one place. <laughs> all right, we'll talk to you around dinner time. I'm skipping dinner tonight. Not really feeling very hungry. Just going to make myself a nice cup of tea. And uh, consider what I want to do tomorrow. There's a camp spot a local told me about that's literally right under the bridge that goes into Port Renfrew. And uh, that sounds kind of interesting, so I'm probably going to check that out. And um, that means I'll have to drive a few miles back and towards town, but that's okay. I'm kind of curious to, as to uh, what kind of spot that is. Well, guys, I uh, reiterate what I said yesterday. This is the quietest place I've ever been. Listen. There's literally no noise. There's been no noise except for little birds and stuff since I got here three days ago. I think this is where I'll come when I'm looking for a complete isolation. Because it's way off the main road. And uh, it's a place where you could come and not worry about running into anybody. I'm definitely going to make this one of my favorite spots. Yesterday, I thought I wanted to leave because I was bored. But when I woke up today, for some reason, I just embraced the boredom and had a nice time just sitting around relaxing. Tomorrow, though, we're going to pack up and find somewhere different to go wherever that may be. I'm going to head upstairs now. It looks like I got my appetite back because when I opened the fridge, I forgot I had some chicken salad in there. And uh, so I'm going to have that while I watch TV. That'll be nice. Good night, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Who knows what adventure is afoot? Yeah, there's a bunch of blue jays out there. They really have been my little constant companions ever since I got here. There they go. Little sweethearts. Well, good morning. It is some kind of chilly out here this morning. Um, but uh, the sun's going to come up over those trees and warm things up soon. But uh, for now, I wish I had some mittens on. And uh, I got some coffee going, and I got the heat going, so I'm going to head back up to the tent till it warms up. And then I'm going to start packing up so we can get on out of here to some new destination. Oh. God, that's good. Coffee tea is so good first thing in the morning, especially out here. Oh, I don't know what it is, but boy, that's the best way to start the day. The best part of waking up right here in this cup. Mm. Well, here we are, all packed up and ready to go. To be honest, it's the first time I've really felt sad to leave a place. I've been here three days and had nothing but nice, peaceful times. You can't buy that stuff. Oh, 
Oh, it's very pretty in here on the way out. Uh, this time of day, it's just very lovely. But uh, I won't make you watch a big long drive out because you had a big long drive in. But I was just going to let you see how pretty it is. I love the filtered light through the forest. Sweet, eh? Just stopped in here long enough to get a quick bowl of cereal in here. There it is. So this is the spot right before the bridge that um, a local told me about. It's right near this water. Um, I don't know, it looks like the sun doesn't last long, and I'm all about that. Let's take a look. Well, I mean, this is a pretty nice little spot right here. This place with a picnic table over there, but it's already in the shade. It won't be long before there's no sun here either. You know what? Although, I'm just gonna park and take a look. Um, I mean, the view's pretty darn nice. Check that out. I'm just gonna get out and take a look. I'll give it some thought anyway. pretty scenic. I'm sure you'll agree. Come up and pick up a few sundries. After that um, uh, painful drive through an alley of branches and short tree branches, etc., um, we are back on pavement. It's a beautiful country there. Just beautiful. What's this? Roadside camping? 
Hmm, I'm not totally opposed. Boy, it looks like people do it regularly and don't clean up after themselves. Ooh, sorry. This, this, I've been here before. This was a beautiful campsite. Wide open, tons of sun, so nice. What are people doing? Look at it. Oh my God. It's unbelievable. It doesn't get more disgusting than this. Well, I don't know what to say. I might, um, I might pull up over there. I've got the garbage picker uppers and I got lots of plastic bags. So, um, I might get to work cleaning some of this up. This is disgusting. I've never seen anything like it. People should be ashamed of themselves. This is such a cool place. Look at it. Whoa, so sunny and nice. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna back up in here and see what happens. Well, first thing I'm doing is scanning for any dangerous items. And uh, if there is any, then I'm going to abandon ship. But um, I'm not seeing any needles, any of that sort. Just piles of disgusting garbage everywhere. We're going to need that. to cram it all into five big garbage bags. Fortunately, I had a bunch of garbage bags. And um, that took me a few hours. I think I'm just gonna sit tight here in the Jeep. And uh, I don't even know what time it is right now. So um, I'll get that shit down to the road tomorrow. For now, I think I'll just get the chair out and sit and relax for a bit in the shade because I'm kind of sunned out. All right, well. That looks a far sight better if you ask me. I just have to get rid of that mattress. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that yet. I'll get it down to the roadside somehow if I have to pull it with a Jeep, I don't care. Wow, wow. 
Talk about a massive contrast. I went from the most peaceful place on earth, practically Eden-like, so amazing, to this complete shithole. And this could be a really nice place. It's wide open, gets tons of sun. And, um, but I can't believe how much garbage there was. It's fucking ridiculous. And I'm not trying to be self-righteous or anything, but it's really hard to come and see this and just leave it. I mean, if I didn't have any garbage bags, then I wouldn't have been able to do anything about it, obviously. But I did have a pile of bags, and so I just felt like cleaning it up. Uh, the problem I'm having now is I'm kind of mad about that. It was three hours in the hot sun picking up garbage. I had a couple of drinks, possibly nude. And um, now I don't uh, have the camping spirit anymore. So I'm hoping that uh, once I get settled down here and a little less mad, um, I'll uh, be able to get uh, back into that nice feeling again. This uh, picking up garbage was not something that was supposed to be in this video at all. Uh, but it happens and uh, I guess it makes a point. So I suppose it's positive. Well, I'm about to lose my son and it's not even five o'clock. So I'm going to say where I was last night was my favorite camp spot for sun because it stayed sunny until quite late. Um, but I'm going to make the best of what I got here. Got the tent up and I'm um, going to get myself something to eat here pretty soon. And we are pretty much good to go. And we'll just kind of cruise on through until tomorrow. I guess we maybe did a little bit of a good deed today. So that's good. Doesn't look much like it did when we got here, does it? Pretty nice, I must say. Uh, about five degrees pretty darn cold and it looks like there's some precipitation moving in so um, I got some coffee going and uh, oh, can't wait for that water to boil because I'd like to get a cup of coffee in me. and uh, I don't know what's going to happen with this uh, cloudy sky it's hard to say um, this guy's working pretty good. It only used this tiny, tiny, tiny bit. And I had it on for a few hours last night. So that's kind of nice. Uh, all in all, we're doing pretty good. We can go on a moment's notice, but really, I don't want it to start raining because I want to hold that out of here. There's some blue over there. I um, had to make a decision as to what to do with all this junk. I was a little worried that if I brought it down to the road, someone could take my license plate down, I could get a ticket for uh, illegal dumping. So I just chucked everything here so all the junk is at least in one spot. And so let's move on. All right, so every time I get somewhere new, I load the shotgun like this. Muzzle pointed in a safe direction, of course. And um, that's fine. But when you unload it, because this is Canada, I can't have it loaded driving around in my car. So um, to unload it, you can do that safely too. Don't sit there racking the thing like crazy with rounds flying around. Uh, with this Mossberg at least, you don't have to do that. Stick, there's a little pin in here. Just go like that. Just like that. You can tell there you're clear. That's still a good idea to rack it. 
clear and let one go. And you're good to go. All right, let's see what's next. Well, this place is pretty neat for sure. Uh, it's kind of cold and shady. And here's yet another place near the road. And near the river. And there's something going on up here. I don't know what it is. A couple of campsites. Mm. Looks like a little bridge. And there's a ton of graffiti on the rocks here. Well, we'll take a look at this too. A suspension bridge. What do you know? Well, there's no end of spots in this area. Let's go to take a look and see what this is. here anything this is a just to turn off the highway I don't know go take a look I gotta stop now with something for lunch I literally haven't eaten anything today and it is one o'clock what a view though look at that All of a sudden find myself super high up. This is the view off to the side. Cameras just never do it justice. But wow. Well, here's yet another Side road. Oh, okay. Yeah, this looks not very good. Sketchy. Could be nails and shit in all this wood. Who knows? Well, I'm just stopping at this gate here for a little bit just to uh, get myself something to eat. It's uh, like 1.30 or something. I haven't had anything. So 
I'm gonna get myself a bowl of cereal now, and um, uh, we're getting near a uh, town, so I um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to run in any places. I'm kind of wishing I took one of those places down by the river. I think there's a helicopter over there. Grief. I was not expecting that when I was pouring my raisin bran. Uh -oh. Yeah, a little wind noise there. Boy, isn't that something? Well, that doesn't go anywhere. We're in Trailhead Provincial Park right now and basically trying to find a little off-grid place to stay the night before going home, but I'm not really having very much luck. What's this? Yet another crossroads? Albeit, this is not nearly as nice. But you know what? I'm looking for a place to kind of sit up camp now because I'm getting tired of driving around. So, um, yeah. I think we'll give this a go. Well, this is where I'm ending up. In the woods. Well, this place comes with its own privy. Oh, isn't that handy? It's kind of a strange looking place where all the roads Seem to come off the main gravel road down there and meet right in the middle here. So uh, if I would just get more confident on how to use my drone, that would look probably pretty neat. Cool. Metal mushrooms. I take it firearms are allowed. Hey guys, I got camp all set up for the night. I'm looking forward to a quiet evening. I'm just kicking back and doing some editing or whatever. Um, listen, I'd really like to thank you so much for coming along for this entire trip. I know we've covered a lot of ground this time. Thanks so much for watching Run for the Hills, and we'll see you next time.